what's up youtube uh 2020 has been a very tough year for everybody and the whole world and especially ghana at this moment just this afternoon the news came in that we have lost a great man former president jerry john rollins whose sad incident happened today on 12 november 2020 trust me this is a big blow to ghana a big blow to the national democratic congress and a big blow to africa because this is a man that even though we are all going to die one day no one anticipated his death his death has come as a shock and what even caused his death even breaks a lot of people it's about time we all take things serious in this world because no one is an immortal and everybody is expendable. Now, the main cause of the former president's death, as reported, is COVID-19. This is a man who has always been advocating for everyone to protect him or herself. Anywhere you see JJ, you see that he's wearing his mask. He doesn't even take chances about this COVID. But look, COVID found its way to this man. So you see that a lot of people who are there saying COVID is not there, COVID ni Ghana, and now they are there, they are there. Right now, it has taken one man that no one can forget. At least everybody in this country as at this moment cannot forget who JJ is. Honorable lecturers of the various faculties, your excellencies, distinguished ladies and gentlemen, I think I prefer the lady. I prefer the lady. Right now, COVID has shown us that uh, you don't have to see someone dying before you believe whether it exists or not. It's it's a very sad news. It's a very bizarre news. It's, it's a very heartbreaking news. And to be honest, I was preparing a video for our vlog, but trust me, I just had to stop. And I don't think we are going to even update our vlog today because, Charlie, the mood has already spoiled. And Ghana is really mourning. He died at uh, Kolebu Teaching Hospital just this around 10 to 11 there. Even the shock, even the shock of the news alone to the immediate people who were even there when the thing happened, it took them time to even confirm his demise. We all have to take COVID-19 very seriously. It's not about who you are. It's not about what you have. It's not about where you're coming from or what kind of food you eat. If COVID comes knocking, trust me, you'll be there to open the door. Because he just buried his mother not long ago. I think it's not even about two months. It's not even about a month. And he himself is gone. You see, so there's no way you can be more careful than being careful. So I'll entreat everybody listening to this to just be very careful in this COVID-19 era. Because the COVID doesn't know you. It's not about money. If it were to be money, money would have saved this man. Money would have saved JJ by now. So you see that it's not even about money. So people who are taking COVID-19 for granted, I think it's about time you start thinking and you start thinking straight. And you start considering the fact that your life can just end within a minute. I don't think anybody was expecting such a news that Ghana is going into an election and with the expectant of a former president someone who has made a great impact not only in his country but across africa and the whole world has to die at this era trust me life is not promised and life is not as easy as some people think it is we have a lot of memories about this man i remember when he was he, he got out from his car had to direct traffic that should tell you the kind of person he is Lock them. Okay. Hey, wait, hey. Charlie, Charlie, don't go, don't go. Okay, you go. Make fast. Make fast. <laughs> Papa J. <Jay. laughs> 
JJ is someone that words cannot even describe him. I don't even know who is going to even sit and write his biography or anything because this man has influenced a lot of people. This man is someone who doesn't, if you hear this man speaking or saying anything about leadership or something, he's very focused on corruption and how he wants people to lead country without having corrupt government. Quran, sworn on the sword, and yet I'm the one being found guilty. Please, I beg the, 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 the judge, etc., take us to the village we come from. We have a shrine over there, and let us go and, and swear on that shrine and see whether I am innocent or he is the, he is the culprit, whether I'm the murderer or he is the culprit. That's all the question I ask these Catholic priests. They could not answer me because they know you're not going to swallow any poison, but they know that we don't fear that Bible. We don't fear that Quran. But when it comes to our shrine, that one, we dare not joke with it. We'll go and tell the truth. The white man who brought the Bible into my country, your continent, the Muslim who brought whatever it is, he's the same person who has gone and invented the lie detector test the chemical interrogation test. I would dare you to go and line up some of your finest policemen, some of your finest editors, some of your finest, what you call it, judges. Make any allegations against me, you included. Whatever questions you want to ask, take me through a chemical interrogation. I will be the one who will pass. I wonder how many of you will pass. You know something, Chief? If we can learn to be bold enough to, re to restore the value of truth in our society, then we will have justice. Without truth, we cannot get justice. I would like to use this opportunity to extend our condolences to the family. In fact, we are all his family. But then his immediate family, his wife, I don't know what is... I, 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 really, I really don't want to think about what she's going through. I really don't want to think about what the, even the children are going through at this time. I really don't want to be in their position, even though I have crossed such a position. But like, this has gotten to me. It has really gotten to me. And to know that your father died of COVID is heartbreaking. And to know that the daughter is a doctor and yet her father died of COVID, trust me, I don't want to think about what Zenato might be going through at this very moment so guys this is just the sudden news that is has hit ghana ghana is very sad ghana is crying let all support each other let's use this to open our mind to make sure that we don't take life for granted let's all understand that covid is killing covid exists people who are on the street roaming about who don't have anything to do thinking that because God has favored them and they are still alive. So they want to fabricate a lot of things that COVID doesn't exist. Well, I think the narrative is going to change from this very moment. Because someone who has even taken this thing very seriously. An influential person who has taken this thing seriously. Has even got beaten by the same thing. We are all crying for people to protect themselves against. So... This is the news that has hit Ghana and condolences to everybody because I won't say there is a human being in Ghana who will not feel any pain or who will not be touched by this sudden uh, death of our former president, Papa J. So my condolences to everybody who listened to this. Let's just pray and then give, give thanks to God for his life and pray that his soul rests in perfect peace. And let's take the rest of us who are still alive, let's take our lives very seriously and let's stay safe. I can't even say you should subscribe, but kindly subscribe to the channel. Why? In the process of trying to modernize, we've ended up rather, ended up being westernized.